card number 26 card number 26 the policeman's pimp oh what's this about i wonder who the two ladies are is that what it implies ladies of the night prostitutes maybe beautiful artwork look at that just magnificent it's the color scheme on it wow the policeman's pimp cool. let's take a look at the writing jack ruby this is jack ruby look at this this is jack ruby wow jack ruby let's look at the text let's look at the text let's make sure the text is uh if it's different we'll read them so from his days yeah same ruby sellers yeah his pals yeah on june 7th yeah that's the same Richard Nixon what have we got Richard Nixon yeah and it ends with conspiracy okay cool so the revised edition looks like it's the same as the original so let's read card number 26 policeman's pimp Jack Ruby from his days as Sparky Rubenstein errand boy for Al Al Capone to his ownership of a string of Dallas nightclubs where policemen got professional treatment Ruby was quote one of our boys and quote according to the mobster Johnny Rossili with whom Ruby met twice during the month prior to the assassination other gangster friends of Ruby's included Joe Ceballo Dallas Mafia Chief Barney Baker, Teamster President Jimmy Hoffa's 375-pound bodyguard, and Dave Yaras, hitman for Chicago mob boss Sam Gianchana, Gianchana, known as the guy who could, quote, fix it, uh, end quote, with the police, Ruby counted at least 100 Dallas cops among his pals. Ruby's self-professed idol was Louis J. Uh, McWillie, a professional gambler who worked at the mob-owned tri uh, Tripeca Hotel in Havana. In 1959, Ruby visited McWillie and the two met with crime boss Santonos Traficana Cante Jr then in in a cuban prison shortly after ruby's return to dallas Trafican, tra, traficante was released the house select committee on us on assassinations suspected ruby acting as a uh, gangland courier had bought traficante's freedom during the six freedom during the six month period that included his havana trip the FBI interviewed Ruby eight times as a quote potential criminal informant end quote for Ruby this was not a first in 1947 while still in Chicago he quote performed information functions end quote for the staff of then congressman Richard Nixon we got a Nixon connection on June 7th 1964 ruby told the warren commission his life was in danger in quotes gentlemen he said if we want to hear further testimony you will have to get me to washington soon i want to tell the truth and i can't tell it here end quote before he died he smuggled two letters out of prison which hint darkly that Lyndon Johnson was behind the conspiracy. Wow, wow, wow. Try.
Interesting. Interesting. 